Hey guys, welcome to Break It Yourself. Today, we're gonna to be comparing four different methods for starting charcoal. I've done this video before, but I only used three methods, and I got a lot of comments back saying, you really need to try a propane torch. So that's what we're gonna to try today. We're gonna to match up a chimney versus the loof lighter versus a heat gun versus the propane torch. We're gonna be using the same amount of charcoal for each test, it's just gonna be one chimney full. I know that the chimney, a lot of people also said, the chimney is passive, you don't have to actively do anything. Of course, and we, we kinda of already know the chimney takes about 20 minutes to start charcoal anyway, but we're still gonna have that kinda of be our control test. The other three methods are more active because you have to hold the propane torch, you have to hold the heat gun, and you have to hold the loof lighter. I don't care about that, I'm just comparing the timing of using the four different ones. Of course, the chimney is probably gonna win out for some of you who don't wanna actively do anything. You just light it, walk away, come back in 20 minutes, it's ready to go. I have a feeling the propane torch is probably gonna be the fastest one, but it's also incredibly loud. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Now, I haven't been able to look at the footage yet, but I just know that the propane was way faster. Um, the short amount of time that I did the propane, the grill, I took the grill because I want to put the charcoal out. And uh, the grill, so I've got the vents shut and I just walked by and the grill is up to, yeah, 450. So, yep, that'll do. So that tiny bit of time that I was putting the propane torch on there and then immediately just put the top on and it's already up to 450. That was, that was incredible. And just like last video, the heat gun doing awesome, coming in at 459 for $12 from Harbor Freight, beating out the $80 loof lighter. And the loof lighter finishing in 738 with the chimney finishing in about 28 minutes. That propane torch is the most annoying way to start a grill, but man, it's, it's, it is so fast. So all you people out there that said use a propane torch, you were right. I would not do it without hearing protection and I would not do it late at night because <laughs> it's, it's super obnoxious, but it's effective. Oh man, how about those results of the loof lighter versus the heat gun, huh? I know it's a little subjective just because it probably depends on how many times you're moving around the pile, but the heat gun just totally killed the loof lighter, which is for the amount of money you're saving on a heat gun, just go with the heat gun. Your hand does get, get a little bit hotter, so the loof lighter is a good design because your hand is further away, but the loof lighter, you have to hold the button down and with the heat gun, you can just kind of pop that button on high and let it go, which is awesome. And then of course, if you don't want to mess with any of that, just stick with your chimney. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know if it was worth it. I'm totally drenched. It was hot. Um, but thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up and we'll see you next time.
Yeah. I saw yesterday. 